NFL playoff action tomorrow night. And DeVarrell Williamson needs to make like Michael Vick and get a little bit more elusive because he's allowing Wiggins to just tee off on the inside. You know, there's a little bit more to Wiggins than meets the eye. He's a poor guy, he looks crude, but he makes little adjustment. He thinks in there. He's inside. He knows Williamson is trying to hide inside from those wide shots. So what does he do? He throws the uppercut. And just a moment ago, Wiggins, who's known for leading with wide punches, he allowed Williamson to come in, and he timed him. Teddy has it even. I have Williamson ahead by a scant point. The only difference being that Wiggins went down in round three. Right now, the problem for Williamson is he's not sure which way to go about this fight. He's not exactly sure what his strategy should, his strategy should be consistently. Teddy, in the last round, Williamson one for seven with the jab according to CompuBox in the round before that 0 for 14 he's Not using that jab enough. That would speak to what I'm just talking about that. He's not sure of Exactly Which way to go about this fight? He's not sure if he should box on the outside because when he's boxed on the outside Feels that he should be out there like that picking his spots with the jab Which is what I think he should be doing in spots. He's gotten caught, but he's gotten caught because he's pulled out straight back instead of going off to the side so what happens in his head he says okay maybe i shouldn't box on the outside so then he gets inside the pocket when he gets inside the pocket he's gotten caught with that uppercut when he's gotten close and laid there so then he says well where do i go right now he's caught in between he's not sure which way to go about this fight he went straight back and he got tagged again and right now he's caught in limbo williamson he's not pulling the trigger on anything I think right now he is really mixed up. He's a little confused. Which way do I go about this fight? And he needs to grab on to one of those ideas and make it work. I think the first thing is reestablish or establish that jab. A good firm jab and throw it more than once. I agree. Get a good hard jab to control distance. Not that kind of jab, which was a slow jab and allowed Wiggins to walk right in. And this fight has become what Wiggins wanted. So one thing Williamson did there, he tied up. He didn't allow room for that uppercut. But momentum flowing Wiggins' way. Whether you're shopping, traveling for business, or back at school studying, this new year, your family can stay in touch thanks to Verizon Wireless. Get them the America's Choice National Family Share Plan. Now with unlimited night and weekend airtime minutes on up to four separate lines so everyone can share all they want. Plus, hurry and buy one Motorola phone for $29.99 and get a second free so you can have a family get-together whenever you want. Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. Can you hear me now? Good. It's a college basketball doubleheader tomorrow on ESPN at noon. Matt Darty, the North Carolina Tar Heels take on Pete Gillen's Virginia Cavaliers. Then at 5 p.m., Bob Huggins in Cincinnati square off against TCU. A college basketball doubleheader Saturday exclusively on ESPN. Good action fight here on Friday Night Fights. Presented by Miller Light from the Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. To Barrel Williamson and Robert Wiggins, a couple of heavyweights. And Wiggins has grabbed the momentum of this fight, Teddy, as I look at the CompuBox numbers in the last three rounds. The taller Williamson has landed two of 36 jabs. And that's not real good, especially, as you said, when you're the taller man. Step back. Step back. That's it. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. That must be... How Williamson is feeling right now. <laughs> Stays outside in boxes. He pulls back. He gets caught. Tries to get in the pocket. Gets caught with the other with the uppercut. He is a man right now that is in limbo. He is not sure exactly what it is that he should grab onto. There's a lead right hand by Williamson, and here comes Wiggins right back. 
See, there you can see where Williams' thought was. I'm not going to commit myself to anything. I'm going to allow Wiggins to help me. I think that's what he's looking to do right now. He's going to allow Wiggins to help him. He's waiting for the shorter man to come in, and he's going to look to land a good, clean, selected punch. I think that's what Williamson is doing right now. He's going to be very selective with his punches. Try to keep the right distance and try to catch the shorter Wiggins coming in. I think he's looking to get help from Wiggins right now. Let the shorter man leave an opening and then try to nail him. Wiggins was down in round three from the right hand. Said two good rounds off that. Two real gentlemen outside the ring. Yes, they are. What makes this fight so interesting is both guys' strengths play into the other's weaknesses. You can see right there, Williamson trying to nail and nail, and Wiggins come in. But Wiggins is so game. Comes right back. And right now, the awkwardness, the awkwardness of Wiggins that you touched on earlier is helping him. Sometimes Williamson's awkwardness hurts him. And like, you're right. He keeps that chin up, he keeps his body real straight, and he goes straight back. And what I mean by each guy's strength and job, playing into the other's weaknesses, the strength of Williamson with a good straight right hand. He can catch Wiggins in between punches, but then Wiggins' wide punches can catch Williamson when he bails out. Makes for a really intriguing fight. Here. Really into TVs? Then get into Best Buy and check out our huge selection of the brands you want, like Mitsubishi. And if you purchase by January 11th, you'll pay no interest for 18 months. That's interest-free payments on every TV, $2.99 and up, from digital to plasma for a full year and a half. Sweet. Best Buy. Go ahead. Turn on the fun. Corner of Robert Wiggins, Jim Casey, the trainer. You tired? You should be breaking your second win now. Okay? Okay, come here. 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 Come Her in the corner of Wiggins saying he should be breaking into that second wind as we start round number seven. Devaro Williamson and Robert Wiggins in a real tight one. Wiggins was dropped in the third round. He's bounced back nicely after that, controlling the next couple of rounds. Last round, round six, very close. Both guys are getting very thoughtful here, and for good reason. Both of the things that they like to do leave doors wide open for the other guy. They don't want to leave those doors open. Wiggins likes to let those hands go, and that leaves himself open for straight right hands, one of them which has already dropped him by Williamson. <laughs> Williams likes to, Williamson likes to stay on the outside and looking to spot up that right hand. But when he pulls back and gets forced back, that leaves him open for those wide shots. So both guys are trying to be contained about what they do. You can see they're trying to make sure whatever they do, they do it only at the right time and only in the right amounts. Very cautious round number seven. Well, guys, what they're trying to do, Bob, is they're trying to be much more specific with what they do. And take away some of that room of error. That's why they're doing less. 
They have both shaken up the other one. So they both gained each other's respect. Williamson trying to chop that right hand down. Puts his punches together there. Going to block some of it, but not all of it. The problem with Williamson is when he's finished. Right there, when he's finished, he stands up. Straight up and straight back. And if he doesn't be careful, he'll be straight down. And he must be careful he doesn't get greedy. He did real good scoring there, but he stayed one punch too long. And with a game guy like Wiggins, you'll pay for that. So you can see what Williamson is thinking now. Okay, I'll land one punch, then I'll tie Wiggins up and not allow Wiggins to answer back. Lead left hand from Wiggins. 